You know what? I said screw it. We're gonna be friggin' doing other things today. I'm sorry. I changed my mind, I know. But you know what? Fuck you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Hey, welcome back, everybody, to more Let's Play Pokemon, uh, Gold Version. This is your host, DMJ406. And, well, despite my thinking to myself that I was going to be doing all the sell-down stuff today, I decided to move it to Monday night. Turns out there was no thing way to do that eating contest, so... I was going to go here now. Hey, look! Because it's a Monday! Hold it. You're going to take the Pokemon League Challenge now? That's not going to happen. My super well-trained Pokemon are going to pound you. Blows, I challenge you. I'll know you the champion theme for this fight, too. So if you come here on Mondays and Wednesdays, you can fight your rival, who sucks. And well, because of the music, you, you know this fight's for real. This fight's like on level with the champion. Not quite as hard, but you know, it's worth your while at least. That's for sure. It's definitely worth your while. So, if you want to, do it. Otherwise, well, yeah, you can ignore it, but here's another good grinding spot. Mondays and Wednesdays, you can come here and battle your rival. Because, you know, fun times. And, well, his starter hits level 50 here. And all of his Pokemon are fully evolved, and they haven't evolved already. Unfortunately, he always starts with his weakest Pokemon, the Sneasel. Ow! My defense sharply fell. Unless you play on slashing me, that's not going to do you much good. So yep, you can battle your tra tra your trainer. You can battle your rival here every Monday and Wednesday. He won't get any stronger than this though. This is the strongest he'll get. Ooh, you're raising the power of water type moves. That weakens fire type attacks, but it doesn't weaken grass attacks. But it does make solar beam. Well, still not great. I still have a charge solar beam. See? He finally evolved his gold back to Crobat. He finally learned what it means to love. Yes, yes. He finally learned. Is Crobat stronger than the one Koga had? Oh, I don't think it has as many good moves. The moves are very similar to what it's had in the past, so. Oh, it does have toxic though. Oh, fuck you. God damn it. Imagine the badly poison. Oh yeah, that's right. I was gonna say, imagine the badly poisoning would make you hurt more than every single step you took out in the uh, open after the fight. But I forgot. A bad poisoning turns into a normal poisoning after the battle's over. So yeah, the bad poison resets to being a normal poison. Worth mentioning. At least I thought. So now it's time for Magneton. And while it should be the last of his uh, Pokemon I haven't seen yet, and haven't basically his Golbat finally evolves to a Crobat. Everybody else is at least level 45. Well, not quite as tough as the champion himself. Well, you know your rival, you've beaten him before, so you know what you're dealing with. Just make sure your Pokemon are properly leveled for this. If you're trying to just grind on the Elite Four and you run into this by mistake, you may be caught off guard. Still, at least you can go back to the Pokemon Center and heal before going after Elite Four again, if you so choose. So, you're not put in a really tough spot, thankfully. That would be awful if they forced you into friggin' fighting the- Oh! Uh, God damn. That would be so bad. Oh! You prick! You raised- you doubled your defense, you fuck! I should have seen that coming, but I did. Let me kill you with Psychic. Well, that's why I'm doing Faint Attack now, because you put on Reflect. And don't forget, Reflect halves the amount of damage that they take physical attacks. Notice I say they. I don't just mean the Pokemon used it. It sticks with the whole team until, until five turns are gone. So, you know, you better make sure that you can take care of them. Oh, God! And you stabbed yourself to die. Well, fine. Hmm. I wonder if Curse is not based on how much damage the Pokemon you're facing has, how much HP it put in. No, no, no. It automatically takes half. Still, got it, move. 
Okay, I lost. You're getting better, though, dude. You're getting a little better. Darn. I still can't win. I... I had to think more about my Pokémon. Huh. <laughs> Try not to lose. Don't tell him I lost to the champion before. Ow! 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 That's okay, we're getting cocky. See you up every Monday and Wednesday. If you come here, you can battle your good old friend who sucks. But, well, that's my rival for you. He sucks. But at least he's starting to have a good heart. Okay. Let me go over the other stuff I can do now. So, let's go to Pewter City. Remember how a special event occurs at Mount Moon at night? It's particularly Monday night, which is why I picked the Monday. Because I wanted to show this. God, I hope I have enough time. I probably do. I also want to go back on the, uh... I want to go back on the ship and friggin' do that again. I want to do that and then end this episode. It's another waste of time episode, but it's for showing day events. You need to see how the events on special days occur, alright? So, let me get off my bike. So, since it's a Monday night... If you come here, you see Clefairy dancing. And it's cute. They do this every Monday night. And well, if it's very early on a Tuesday, but still night, they'll still be doing this. Oh, you need Rock Smash, though. Damn it. Anyway, you can get a Moonstone out of that. That's all I wanted to show you. So you have Rock Smash, you can smash that rock and keep generating Moonstones, basically, every Monday night. So there you go. Okay. Before I go back to Goldenrod City to take, go to Olivine to take the boat again, remember there's a guy in the back of the mansion that wanted me to go there at night. This isn't actually too useful for me, but just to show it off, I'm going to do it anyway. Because, well, I may as well. So come back here when it's nighttime. He'll have a story to tell. Let me recount a terrifying tale. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who was given a new bicycle. He wanted to try it right away. He was having so much fun that he didn't notice the, the sun had set. While riding home in the pitch black night, the bike suddenly slowed. The pedals became heavy. When he stopped pedaling, the bike began slipping backwards. It was as if the bike were cursed and tried to drag him into oblivion. Sheik! Ah, the boy had given, had been riding uphill on cycling road. But dum but dum for listening so patiently. You may take this. TM03. Really? Just because he was going up cycling road at night? God damn it. Anyway, TM03's curse. A terrifying move that slowly whittles down the victim's HP. If you're a ghost type. That's something re to remember to make. Oh, god damn, I have to get out of the filming first. Remember that. Curse is a move that has no type. That's because it works differently depending on its type. If a ghost type Pokemon uses Curse, it'll take about half of their HP, rounding down by the way, in order to put a Curse on the Pokemon that takes away a quarter of their HP every turn. I believe that's how it works. And while as long as the Pokemon doesn't switch out, it'll affect them till they die. So yeah, worth mentioning. Ugh. Oh god, my throat. I got a little dry. I need to drink some water first. Hang on. Now oh, the magnet train at night is fun. Also, I gotta go to Kurt and get that ball. I keep forgetting about that. But yep, remember, curse of the ghost type. Sacrifices half their HP to put a curse on a Pokemon that makes them drain a quarter of their HP every turn. As long as they don't switch out. And it doesn't matter if your Pokemon's still alive or not. If they're affected by the curse, they're affected by the curse. So just remember that. <laughs> Love Ball! Ah, that's a gender-specific ball. Which is weird. I'm trying to remember if it's better you catch the same gender or opposite gender at that ball. It's basically a pretty good multiplier for, depending on the gender. I have to remember it's the same or opposite. I'll look that up another time. Anyway, let's go on the boat now. That's the one on Monday and Friday, right? Yeah. Okay, let's take this boat ride again. 
I hope it's different trainers, otherwise I'll just be wasting my time. Well, anyway, to finish my talk about Curse, like I said of the Ghost, sacrifice half your HP to deal one quarter damage to the other Pokemon every turn. After that, well, yeah, it could die or it could switch out and avoid its death altogether. Altogether. Yeah, excuse me. If you're not a ghost type, it works differently. Oh, you're the same people. God damn it. No, I didn't want to battle you! I'm going to Kano test my skills. Oh, is it just that different rides have different Pokemon, or is it actually... Oh, for fuck's sake. I did it wrong. Oh, well, I'm learning my mistake now. Okay, so I'm gonna just sleep and get off the freaking boat if I don't see anybody different on here. Cause I don't wanna waste you got the time of you guys watching me battle the same trainers I've battled before. Anyway, Curse works differently if you're not a ghost type. If you're anything but ghost, if you don't have ghost on you at all, instead it cuts your speed by one stage to increase your attack and defense power. So well, it's worthwhile if you want to, you know, if you're not worried about your speed at all and just want to make yourself a tank, well, make yourself harder to kill and easier to use physical moves to kill with. Yeah, that came out a little... That came out as an ugly sentence. Anyway, if you're a physical fighter and expect to fight physical moves, Curse may not be a bad option for you, as long as you don't mind a loss in speed. It's most, it's biggest effect is with the ghost types. However, well, you gotta make sure you know what kind of Pokemon you're using that on. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time. That's really about all there is to that. Alright, I gotta look and see if there are any different trainers on this boat. If they aren't, I'm just gonna get off and say, fuck it. But yeah, Monday and Fridays, you can do the same trip. They do say they're different trainers, one going from one way to the other. So I do want to show off that trip at some point. But see, this is exactly the same. It is worth showing that off, too. I wanted to win, so you can keep rebalancing these trainers if you wanted. Let me see if there is anybody different. Hmm. I'll have to find out. Is there an old man looking at a trash can in here? Yes. God damn it, they are the same. Well, let me at least look around the ship. Well, I guess we can still go to the Celadon game corner. I'm sorry I wasted your time with, uh... My useless garbage. Oh, I thought there was somebody in there before. Oh, no, I'm thinking the first trip. Yeah, I battled you before, bitch. Oh, God! Damn it, I walked too far into the room. Shh, my brain's picking radio signals. God damn it! I didn't want to do this! But I ended up being stupid anyway and doing it. Fine. I'll just kill you again, then. Ah. Oh. Try to remember everything, unlike me. So, it's the trips going from one way to the other that change the trainers. Not the time, not the day you pick it. See, I've done Friday and Monday, they're the same. At least now you know, so you don't have to go into my mistake again and battle trainers you've battled before. But of course, if you want to use it for easy money and experience grinding, it's not a bad way to go. As long as your Pokemon are in the 30s, this is actually a pretty good way to grind on a lot of things. So there's some useful advice for you. Keep going on the ship and battle Elite Four going to grind. Although, if your Pokemon are high enough for the Elite Four, unless you have to be very reliant on items, don't rely on the Elite, the elite Four quite yet. I uh, hear something. Something. Something on the bow. Oh, God. Don't talk to me like that. I battled you before, I remember. Yeah, I remember battling you. Do they even have the same people down here? Let's see, it'll be a fisherman. Right there. Okay, just in case you try to come my way, I'm just exploring right now, okay? I don't need you getting up in my grill. So don't, please. Okay, good. He doesn't want to block the way. A sailor. And, uh, yep, fighting guy. Okay, so it's the same traders. God damn it, I wasted my freaking time. But I wanted to... I got too close. Even though we're out of the sea, I can't fish! This is boring! You're boring! Ow! Oh. Well, sorry for making this episode another waste of time. Just trying to prove a point. 
But, well, there I go. I'm freaking going overboard and freaking making us fight all these freaking goddamn Pokemon again! We did not need to do this breeding session a second time, but no! I thought, hey, there might be different Pokemon on here. Why don't we check them out? Oh, no, there's not! The same damn ones. Oh, more wasting time. I would have been better off trying to go after the freaking legendary dogs at this rate. You know what? Let's do that. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Please, let's not. Oh. I mean, I could get the legendary dogs at this point. Because Noctowl is probably faster than two of them. I will say this. The only dog I don't like going after is Raikou. Or Raikou. Whatever his name is. I think it's Raikou. Either way, Raikou's faster than the other two. Or I think Suicune's good with special attack and defense. And special defense. And where Entei is good on offense and defense, normally. I think Raikou's good on speed. And because of that speed, it's really hard to put Raikou to sleep. So unless you have a fast Pokemon or something that can stop him from leaving the battle, you're gonna have a tough time catching that fucker. Oh, that was a move that Umbreon, I didn't let him learn. I, I'm not bored anymore. You know, I debated really hard whether I should give Umbreon mean look, but I decided sand attack was worth keeping. And you know, at the end of the day, I regret my decision. I should have given Umbreon mean look when it learned it at level 47. Or was it 44? I don't remember anymore. Either way, Umbreon could have learned mean look, and I didn't let it. And, well, for that, I apologize. That could have actually helped me, because it's faster than Noctowl, so... That would have actually helped things. I could have used Mean Look, and then swapped out my Pokémon to then keep attempting to put him to sleep. Oh, I'm such an idiot! Why did I not think about that? God damn it! Ah, oh. Next time. I'll have to catch it the way I did in the past, then. I'll just have to get lucky. Works for me. Well, anyway, I did all the Monday events, I got the last ball, so there we go. I show all the special balls and all that. Now, let's go to the game corner and explore that. And then we'll end this episode, I guess, depending on how long I explore the game corner. Well, I'm not doing the gym this episode, because, well, I spoiled that opportunity. Let's at least finish exploring all the tourist areas, why not? So, here's the game corner again. In case you want to play some slots! Hmm, the odds are surely better for Pikachu's line, but what to do? In case you don't remember these work, by the way, your coins work here as well. But yep, you got these games again! But you'll pick a card, and I gotta bet what it is. I'll bet Pikachu, why not? Damn it! Let me bet again. How about an Oddish? Yay! I got four times what I put in! Sweet! Nope. Hey, I came out of the profit. I'm happy about that. I'll take that. Welcome! You may exchange your coins for fabulous prizes next door. Thank you. Over the game quarter. Do you need some game coins? It costs 1,000 for 50 coins. You want some? Again, if you want to get the prizes, just grind money off here. Grind money from your other battles like the Elite Four and all that. Buy a shitload of coins and buy whatever you want. Or get lucky in these games. Or find the good seat that kind of has the odds not fixed against you. No coins for you? Come again. So yeah, so I'd mention that. Hey, Jamie Mickey, are you playing with slots too? I'm trying to get enough coins for a prize Pokemon. But I don't have enough coins yet. Sucks to be you. I think a slot machine will pay out. The odds vary among machines. Yeah, there is one that tends to be pretty good with odds. I always forget what it is. <laughs> the coins just keep popping out! Hmm? What well, kid, you wanna play? I'll share you my luck with you here. I received coin! Oh, I'm making you feel good to do nice things for other people. That's nice. By the way, he gives you 80 coins. Pretty sweet. So you want some free money? Just talk to him. So he's on a hot streak, there you go. Slot machines are all state of the art. Yeah, I guess they upgraded the machines to the recent things. It's this machine I want. It cleaned me out yesterday, so it should pay out today! That's a good way to think about it, actually. 
Oh no, he only gave me 20 coins. Oh well. But. Darn. I think it's the old one from the first game, yeah. They don't have the thing that cheats you out like last game did. Yay! I got a payout! Thank you for the lineup, Pikachu. I appreciate that. Well, this one seems to be lucky for me. Ooh! Damn it! Oh, I wanted to try to win friggin' 300 coins in the sevens. Oh, well. That's fine. Hey, I made a profit this time. Wow, look at me! I'm a high roller. Yep, baby! Sweet! So, yep, you got your another game quarter here. And then there's uh, this place. Ooh, I gotta stay calm and cool. I can't lose my cool or I'll lose all my money. That you will. I won Mr. Barber. I was short by 100 coins. So let's see our prizes here. Welcome. We exchange your coins for having prizes. Which prize do you like? So, you have these TMs here. God damn it. I can't. I can't read what they are! God damn it. I have to look up what each of these are. Anyway, let's see what all of them are. Let me just look up the database so I get these out of the way. So let's see. These TMs we have here, since they don't tell you unless you get them. TM32 is double team. Increase your evasion. TM29 is psychic. So it's a way to get more psychics if you want to do that. Not a bad move. And TM-15, that is Hyper Beam. So you can be like Lance and have everybody learn Hyper Beam, which I think, like, almost every Pokemon can learn Hyper Beam. With the exception of those, I can't learn a lot of moves like uh, Magikarp. A lot of Pokemon can learn Hyper Beam. So you go, oh, please go back with coins. So there you go. Double Team, Psychic, and Hyper Beam. There you go. Welcome. We exchange your coins for fabulous prizes. Here, you can pay a lot of coins to either get a Mr. Mime, get yourself an Eevee, another one if you want to go for more evolutions, or buy yourself a Porygon, and then trade it with somebody else who has an upgrade with that Porygon to get the evolution, Porygon 2. Which, by the way, I realized that conversion move. Apparently, Porygon analyzes the type that it's fighting against, and that move conversion, I think, changes it into a type that is strong against the Pokemon it's fighting. Oh, please go back with coins. I think that's how it works. I know there are multiple conversion moves. One might convert... I think conversion might convert the Pokemon into what it's... What it'll be strong fighting against. The other one, I think it's conversion two, converts you into the Pokemon type you're fighting. I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let's see, it's nighttime. Is there anything else I can do right now? But yeah, the eating contest area is just for leftovers. There's nothing there. Let me explore Kano one more time. See if I can find the person that proves friendship. That might only be a certain day of the week, though. It's not Professor Oak's lab. Unless it's somewhere down here. But I do not want to explore down there yet. It's not my time. It's not time yet to explore down there. And wonder what awaits me. Hmm. I have to wonder. Am I in the right place? My kid brother, the leader of Viridian City. He goes out of town so often he causes problems with the trainers. Yeah, he's a he's an asshole. And Red's gone. Jeez, what do these people do? These kids have been off doing nothing. But wasting their time. But whatever. But yeah, as far as I remember, there's not anything else to do. So let's go to Celadon. Okay. I'm sorry we're wasting everybody's time this episode. Because, well, I got nothing done. I still have to... Oh, wait. I healed from the boat ride. I forgot. I went to sleep and entered the boat ride. But there you go. I gotta go over the game corner. And, well... You know what? I put my corn case away. I don't have any plans on frigging buying anything out of there. Just to show you, you can get it. You can get all your evolutions through buying Eevee through there, your Mr. Mime, and you can eventually get a Porygon, trade somebody else a Porygon as an upgrade, to get the Evolution Porygon 2. Basically all needs, needs to be said about that. 
Now let me put the let me put the coin case away. Oh yeah, my silver wing. Oh jeez. You can hold up to 9,999 game coins. So max out your coin case if you want to buy if you want to buy yourself a freaking Porygon. Do the Elite Four a lot if you need money. But well, don't be fully relying on it. Just know that it's there. And I'm gonna throw Noctile in the front of my party. And there we go, that's that. Again, sorry we wasted time, but I wanted to make sure that the uh, ship didn't have different trainers on it, and it did not. It's only from trips one way to the other that have different trainers. If you do it on the same day, it's the same trainers. But hey, grinding method if you need it. And just like that, I'm sorry we're wasting a bunch of time. I promise we're actually gonna get shit done next time. So come back to me next time? Yeah, this is Friday the 13th, a cursed episode where no progress was made. I fought my rival, got the move cursed, and then I just fiddled around in the game corner. And I couldn't get a moonstone from the Dancing Clefairies. I'm a big asshole. Man, that was a waste of my time too, what the hell? Anyway, come back next time, we will go to Saladon City next time, I promise. I may change the day of the week to be set to Wednesday, so I can meet the uh, Wednesday person at Johto after we take the boat ride. To see what different traders are on there. I swear to God, it's the same freaking traders, and I don't know why this game's lying to me.